Welcome back, guys. An interesting moment occurred in Book 2's seventh episode in regards to Mecca and Lorenzo. Lorenzo, out of jail and more motivated than ever, has been pressing his eldest son, Cain, for access to his connect, to no avail. However, all that changed in Episode 7, where Mecca finally agreed to meet with the man, and not only meet him, but bless him in full. But what could be behind Mecca's overt criminal support of his simmering op? In this video, we'll analyze Mecca's potential plan and motivations for initiating business with Monet's husband, and the potential backlash it could have on the Tejada family. Before we begin, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and bell notification to immediately receive these videos. Also, big thank you to all of my channel donors. If you'd like to be the next one, drop a dollar on that cash app for us. And lastly, a spoiler alert is now in effect for all things power. Here we go. Prior to their fateful crossing of paths, I saw a meme that compared the then pending link up to that of Dominic Toretto and Luke Hobbs, exchanging tense niceties, and in many ways, it was just like that. Lorenzo is the reigning Tejada patriarch and looking to reclaim his position in the streets following a lengthy prison sentence. Mecca, on the contrary, is a clandestine underworld mogul disguised as a legitimate businessman and wealthy army vet, which draws him those ghost comparisons more often than not in terms of appearances versus reality. Both are soldiers in a cold war for Monet's affections, with Lorenzo holding home court advantage due to his marriage and proximity to her, and Mecca largely on the outside due to his very presence, which was impromptu prior to Diana's efforts to free him. Mecca's newly downsized position in Monet's life has left him bitter, angry, and ultimately hurt. You can see it in his eyes whenever he confronts his muse. His romantic ambitions for the Tejada matriarch have unraveled just as quickly as they were composed, all due to Lorenzo's re-emergence. Though this is the case, Mecca isn't the type to take an L lying down. He's been presented to us as a man of order and principle, with the tinge of maniacism obsessing over losses until they become wins. It's the only way he could have survived whichever tour he served in the armed forces and subsequently propelled himself into the entrepreneur and mogul that stands before us currently. That level of dedication doesn't wither away just because circumstances do, and it's provided insight into Mecca's relentless efforts to acquire the woman he lost in his teenage years and expose his relationship to the son he never knew. A man of such stature is nothing at all without a calculated mindset and approach to all things within his grasp. This understanding brings us to his potential motivations behind quote-unquote helping Lorenzo further his underworld ambitions. It also lends additional reasoning to his subsequent actions. Mecca not only met with Lorenzo, but agreed to unload all of his product onto his developing organization. Wait, what? That doesn't sound like someone who deemed himself to be a quote, private man prior to their agreement, does it? Someone who's naturally distrustful wouldn't then turn around and give an aspiring distro all of their inventory, right? <laughs> Not without a plan and a scheme behind it. And if we've learned anything about Mecca up to this point, it's that he doesn't move without meaning. Mecca is as cerebral as they come. Another similarity he holds with the legendary departed one himself. But that's not all. Mecca not only transferred all of his weight over to Lorenzo, but he also helped him clear out a rival crew in an effort towards expansion and greater territory. His soldiers, intermingled with Lorenzo's own, assisted the latter in this effort. Thus, on the grand chessboard, Mecca currently is ahead by two moves and holds a major lead over the Tejada Patriarch, whether he knows it or not. His third advantage was supposed to be Monet, his long-lost love that has since fizzled upon Lorenzo's return as well as any chance of the clandestine drug lord revitalizing his estranged family. This state of affairs has left his hand feeling forced, something he relayed to Monet directly following his solo attempt at an impromptu introduction to his NBA-bound progeny, Zeke, an effort that failed on the surface but left lingering sentiments that will greatly impact the Tejada clan going forward. Be it that Monet's perpetual deceptions have only served to drive a deeper wedge between father, son, and Mecca's entire familial reimagining, 
the forced hand will only wield a stronger swing in the remaining episodes. Who do you think would be the greatest shrapnel recipient of such a swing once Mecha finally makes his move? My guess is Lorenzo. It wasn't until his liberation and restirring of Nene's waters that Mecha's ambitions were drastically shattered. But what if that liberation could be compromised? It's the belief of this commentator that Mecha's move against Renzo will be similar to Ghost's move against Kanan, an orchestrated setup to place the de facto Tejada head of household back inside. Such a move doesn't only serve Mecha's interests, but Monet's as well, inadvertently. Mecha doesn't realize it, but Monet's world has been rocked by Lorenzo's heavy-handed approach to re-establishing his family's position in the streets. Where she was formerly in power, making the bulk of the decisions and banging the final gavel on all things business, now she's been forced to defer to a new order, something that's been more than an adjustment, to say the least. But you know how the saying goes. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, and those who tasted its addictive waters fight like hell to maintain the well, so to speak. With Lorenzo out of the way, Mecca's manipulative mastery could continue. His reign would go unopposed, and his family can be rebuilt in a much stronger image, one that he alone can mold for the future, says the influence of that quote-unquote jailbird. None of the aforementioned can flourish with things in their current form, a form I think Mecca will disrupt sooner rather than later. But what are your thoughts on all of this? Is Mecca setting Lorenzo up secretly? Or does he intend to make a few coins on the way before executing his final solution? Be sure to drop me your opinions in the comments below. As always, I thank you for watching today's video. If you liked today's video, go ahead and drop a dollar on that cash app for us, hit the like button, share it with your friends who are power fans, and subscribe for more content such as this. This is Rudy P. Magic of Rudy P. Magic Beats, and have a blessed one until the next one. Peace, y'all.